17 years. 17 years of Hugh Jackman playing Wolverine and I just have to say, Logan was a perfect way for him to end the role, put his acting shoes, whatever people say when someone's quitting finishing a role. But yeah, this movie, I don't know, maybe I'm overstating it, but personally, I think it's like a masterpiece in the terms of a superhero film because it's just the right amount of everything, like the right amount of sadness, but also badass and gore and like a little bit of comedy, but not too much. So, but yeah. So obviously I'm gonna do a review on Logan because holy shit. That movie was so good. And let's just get into it. the beginning with the Deadpool cameo. Okay, warning. Obviously this is a spoiler review, but um there was no mid credit or end credit. But they have like a beginning credit. They're they're starting a whole new thing with that Deadpool scene. Obviously it was it wasn't Wolverine and Deadpool together. It was just Deadpool like, oh yeah, I'm gonna save this man. Oh wait, I gotta change into my outfit. Superman music playing. I'm pretty sure that's Superman. If not, then I'm dumb. Um, and then it's like, oh, yeah, damn. The suit took a little bit too long to put on. Sorry, guy. And how they had the Logan poster in the background. And it's like, oh, yeah, the Deadpool movie. It's not done yet. Not coming right away, but coming soon. That was just a really great start to the movie. Like, just make everyone laugh but then it's like time to get started logan is now basically a limo driver and i like how his id was james howlett so it's like oh going back to like the very beginning instead of using what he'd used before logan the name and um i I don't know why, but Caliban looked so familiar, like maybe, I don't know, he just, I feel like I saw him before somewhere else, but Charles Xavier is like really, really old, not like he was old before, but now he's like really, really old and he's kind of like losing it and then he's having these seizures where it's like affecting everyone around them in paralysis and it's like oh my this is obviously like and it's the year 2029 i'm not 100% sure how long ago it's from x-men days of future past it's i'm pretty sure it's more than a decade but Still, like, the change from how Logan looked at the end of Days of Future Past and now it's like, even if it was a decade, you couldn't age that much, but he is because he's been alive for a really long time now. So obviously now his powers are starting to weaken and it's taking a toll on his body and how he looks and his aging and it's like, oh no, you know, you know what's gonna happen in the end because personally, I feel like, so in the end, they killed Logan and Charles and Xavier, but I think they did this because they're kind of possibly gonna like reboot 
the X-Men franchise, if that makes sense. I think they're gonna use the people that played the younger version of the X-Men cast from Apocalypse and maybe just focus on them rather than how they would typically have Wolverine, Charles, and Magneto, yeah, and Mystique and Beast and yeah, but it's like those other people, so. And, oh, it's just, there's so much to go through and I don't know, like, where to start, where to begin. Um, X-23, Laura Kinney. I honestly didn't think she was going to talk at all in the movie, but then all of a sudden when she's talking, it's like, it's just like kind of such a high, like, adorable voice. It was like, oh my god. It's like, hey, Logan, you're a dad. Surprise. Yeah. At first I was like, oh, is she going to be a clone of him? But no. Um, for like a little kid, she was totally badass and then whenever she would like have the claw out and the like foot claw what like that that actress was amazing like when logan was dying and then she was just crying it's like you could feel the emotion and you want to cry because you're like hugh jackman you're leaving us but for good reasons like 17 years you can't play a role so so long because it will take a toll on you and then especially his kind of role where you have to be like really fit and it's like it was just a perfect way how they ended it and I'm so glad like it was R-rated and he did take a cut from his paycheck to make it R-rated and I'm like grateful that he did that because that movie if it wasn't r-rated it would still be amazing but wouldn't be as badass so let's talk about like more about the middle part of the plot when they were in the casino hotel and then charles xavier was having like that seizure attack and everyone's like oh and then wolverine Logan, he was just like trying to get there, but it's like kind of slow and then like he's taking his claws and putting it one wall and another wall and then it's like he's also killing those people. It was a very violent film. Like, I didn't expect there would be that much gore, but it was like, oh yeah, I'm at 23 and Laura, I'm just walking out. Here's this guy's head that I cut off. Like, you are obviously a very sweet child. I do not want to piss you off. But yeah, and then when he's like just trying to get to Charles to give him the medications, like, ah. Oh. And also, I just, I'm pretty sure I said it before, but I still feel so bad for Caliban, how he ended up like dying in the end. And it's like, Oh. And it was always so funny, like now with Charles Xavier, and then he'd always have those like funny, like really, I don't know how to put it. He'd be like, oh, like, I don't know who said fuck you, but something in that way, like the same manner as that to like Logan, like, and I apologize for how many times I'm gonna say like in this video because I can't help it. Continuing on. Okay, so when they were leaving the casino and then driving and then they saw the car with the horses and they like saw the horses running away and they helped them out. Charles, you're supposed to be like a fucking genius. 
You know you have people on your fucking back. You know they want to possibly kill you. So if some nice family is offering you, oh, let's, let's give you a meal, you know, and how about you stay with us? You say no because you know they're obviously going to come after you and then you're going to be at that night in a suit family's house and they're going to kill them and oh my god, guess what happened? They all died. Like, you're supposed to be smart, Charles. Like, maybe it's your old age. I don't think so. Maybe you're just trying to be like, yeah, they're being kind to us, so let's be kind to them. But that was a really dumb move. And fuck, X-24? When he killed Charles, at first I was like, oh, is this like a nightmare sequence? Is it like, it's like, no. And I'm like, wait, that's not, that's not Logan. It's X-24. And then, oh my god, I don't know how long it took them to choreograph and film that fight sequence between X-24 and Logan, but it was amazing. Like, you just really have to take all that in and like, you just have to be so like thankful, I don't know, like respect it, I don't know what you're supposed to say, but this was really interesting and amazing to see that kind of thing and like it would be amazing to see like how long it does take them to choreograph that kind of stuff and to create this kind of like amazing film but yeah oh my god that was still so like <gasps> you're fighting yourself logan Ugh. and still that <sighs> laura was still so badass and let's now talk about the ending we like you it was obvious that when they showed the um liquid i don't know what it exactly is like medication the green medication that the main leader of the group of kids that escaped from the program that basically created them and then he was like oh don't take it all at once it's like you know he's gonna take it all at once basically but yeah it was like ah oh, shit they know where they are because of laura's photo and then the address on the back of it and then oh That one scene where Wolverine was like, everyone I care about ends up getting hurt. And then Laura's like, well then I'm good. Like, <gasps> that means you don't care about her, Logan. He obviously knows, but yeah, that burn was, oh, hurtful, very hurtful. And at the end where like you could see the little kids like running away from those people when they were like using their powers it's so awesome and then again logan facing x24 but now he knows like there's no turning back like i can't heal from all this damage it's like a self-sacrifice at the beginning of the film i knew that's basically I knew he was basically gonna probably end up sacrificing himself to save Laura and those kids, but I didn't actually think that was gonna like really happen. I was just guessing. I didn't actually want him to die. But when he died and even like now I know how it feels. Oh and oh Laura's just crying and it's like not the Hollywood like pretty crying for like snot coming down and I'm like oh you are a very talented actress and you are very very talented Hugh Jackman and how different
Jordan, they make him look like when you look at Hugh Jackman in real life and then looking at old man Logan, it's like, you look like 15. I don't know if I want to say 20 years, but maybe 20 years older. And oh, I still, it's just really sad thinking that this is his last film. I know that he was talking about like possibly wanting like, oh, if I ever did end up coming back, it would maybe be like Deadpool and Wolverine. I really hope that would actually happen. Like Kickstarter, whatever, GoFundMe, whatever the hell. I'm pretty sure they did that once to get Hollywood to make a film. Probably not. I'm probably just imagining it. But, oh, that'd be amazing. But even if they don't do that, this is still obviously really good film. And I think I'm going to end it off on that because there's just too much that happened in the movie. And I can't recall everything because I'm just too many emotions going on. You obviously, like, this is a movie you want to watch more than once in the theater because, like, the quality, the details, you just want to catch everything. Oh, I do have to, I don't know why, there's one thing. After, like, they buried Logan, oh, and quick break. When they, when Logan buried Charles, it's just so sad. I just really want to know how exactly, like, the X-Men crew kind of ended up dying. But obviously, the movie wasn't focused on that. It's focused on Logan and Charles and Laura, and that was the main part. Um, but anyways, yeah. So, when they were burying Logan and it was like at the end one of the kids had a Wolverine doll with him. It was like way to make the pain feel even like worse. Just carry that doll around with you days after you buried him. Be like, here's a reminder about your dad, Laura. Yeah, you only had to you only get to know him for a week, but this is still a pretty cool doll. I'm not gonna get rid of this figure, action figure, whatever you call it. But yeah, this movie overall, just amazing. I'm just really kind of a little bit upset with how they ended it when she took like the cross and then made it into an X because X-Men, way to make the pain feel even worse, imaginary pain. But Mm -mm. And then they just end it with like it zooming in on the X and obviously we weren't going to find out like what happens to the kids in the end because it wasn't about that. It was just about the perfect way to end the character Logan without like ruining anything and then like making people be like, oh. It's just, it was a nice way because he did live for a really long time and a few films like he would want to like die like in the Wolverine but at first I thought his sickness was something like from in the Wolverine where it's like oh like they made you sick but then he like ended up taking that bug thing out of him but no it's just like after years and years it's it's all gonna catch up to you one day so eventually it happened but yeah i think that's a perfect way to end this review if you haven't watched it um what the fuck are you doing if you're an x-men fan or a, like overall comic book superhero fan go watch the movie because it'll blow your mind it'll make you feel a ton of emotions 
it'll make you want to cry, but you're going to be like, no, you're in a theater surrounded by people. You're not going to be emotional over a fictional character dying, but yeah. Um, huh. I'm just really, I really want to know if they are going to make, I know they're making a future X-Men film, I'm pretty sure, but I want to know like how exactly they're taking it in what way. But yeah, side note, if you are an X-Men fan, you should totally fucking watch the show Legion. It is really mind blowing. The cinematography is so amazing. The editing, the actors, the script is really brilliant. So yeah, I think it's on FX. But anyways, back to this video. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, give a huge thumbs up, subscribe to the button below. Comment what your favorite scene from Logan was and what you think they're gonna do with the X-Men universe. Did you think that was the perfect ending for Hugh Jackman and his role of Wolverine? Do you think they're gonna possibly reboot the character in a decade? Who knows? Anyways, Thank you so much for watching this video. Yeah, I'm gonna go cry in the corner now because no more Wolverine. <laughs>